Good evening, I'm Vincent McCory and this is Africa 54. Now to the Middle East. Yemen has tumbled into violence and chaos since a popular uprising ousted its longtime president, President Ali Abdullah Saleh in 2012. The nation's ongoing strife has drawn increased focus from other countries in the region and its allies overseas. The search for a political solution continues as rival factions in the north and south press their fight for control. Another U.S. ambassador to Yemen, Matthew Tula, told Reuters on Monday that he is relatively optimistic that a new power-sharing agreement can be reached between the internationally recognized government of President Abdel Rabba Mansour Hadi and the Houthi rebels who control the capital of Sana. Saudi Arabia's Foreign Minister Saud Al Faisal told reporters in Riyadh that Arab countries would take necessary measures against the Houthis if a peaceful solution to the crisis cannot be found. Well, on Monday, the White House said the United States has capability to handle security issues regarding Yemen, despite uh, the withdrawal of remaining U.S. forces there. Speaking to Al Hura TV, Department of Defense spokesperson Colonel Steve Warren acknowledged there will be some challenges, however, moving forward. Uh, there's no question the situation in Yemen is extraordinarily complex. Uh, there's no question the situation in Yemen uh, has become dangerous. The security situation has deteriorated. Uh, as far as American military intervention, uh, this is uh, not something uh, that we will discuss publicly at this point. Uh, our focus now uh, is to continue uh, hunting, finding, and killing members of al-Qaeda. Well, there's no question that the withdrawal of American personnel from Yemen uh, will impact our ability to fight uh, al-Qaeda. Uh, there's simply no question about that. Uh, nevertheless, we have very sophisticated uh, intelligence collection capabilities. Uh, we have very sophisticated um, strike capabilities, and we will bring those to bear. Uh, that said, uh, it, is, it is clear that uh, the deteriorating and complex security situation does make our job more difficult. Well, that was Department of Defense spokesperson Colonel Steve Warren speaking to Al Hura Television.